What's up, family? How we doing? How we doing? And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back. My name is Dennis Smith. This is the alternate timeline, and we are doing anime reactions. Blue Lock, episode six. I am reacting to Blue Lock now um, because it's great. I, I like it. I, I love what I'm seeing from this anime, so I want to react to it. Um, before we start though, like, is there any other shows that you guys would want me to react to, um, while we're here, you know, let me know what you would like to see me react to. I'm, I'm open to doing more. I'm open to doing it. Um, cause there's shows that I'm watching that I'm not reacting to, of course, but, um, like spy family I'm watching as far as anime goes, like spy family, love that show. Um, Anya is great. All my homies love Anya. She's like what to animate. She's like anime grogu <laughs> she's like grogu for anime or like uh or baby or like baby group but for anime so yeah um watching spy family mob psycho as well waiting for jojo's to come back um boruto i watched but i watched in a different kind of way i kind of let weeks go by and then i like binge like six episodes straight um watching what else Usaki Chan wants to hang out. Yeah, that's one of the other ones that that started to to air season two. And uh, like I said before, if you watched my last video, I uh, I definitely I watched me some some romantic comedy anime. I will watch the shit out of a romantic comedy anime. That is how far I have fallen when it comes to watching anime. I will watch it because I need to know how it ends. I need to know do the two you know get together like is it a thing at the end of the show you know what i'm saying i need to know how it ends i just i get trapped into that into that thing right there so my hero i'm watching uh the new there's a new one called shinobi no itaki i'm watching too i don't know anything about it didn't read the manga or anything uh but there's six episodes deep and i've been kind of watching it and i'm like it's got potential it's got some potential so we'll see what happens there um and obviously I'm reacting to Chainsaw Man and Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Let me know what you guys are, are watching right now as far as anime goes. As a I'm always I can always add to the list for sure. So we're here to react to Blue Lock episode six. I got it pulled up. And um yeah, this the last episode we had basically our boy Isagi figured out his special power during during the match they had. He figured out his special ability. Uh, the guy with the pink hair basically told him that, you know, your whole thing is called spatial awareness. And he, the way he described it is like, you're like, you're kind of like a God that overlooks the field and can see everything. Uh, and he put it to use at the last match. And um, he figured out the other team's plan of attack. He was there to intercept it, pass the ball up. And then it was cool how they did it because the scene cut away and they showed all the others making their plays or whatever. And then our other boy, uh, Megum, is what's his name? What's his name? And Meguru and then Meguru uh, kicks a ball and you think it's going to another teammate, but he overkicks it to, to uh, Isagi streaking down the other side of the field. And he has a glorious striker moment. And because of that moment, he becomes ranked higher than everybody that he's uh, in the group that he's in. So, because he was ranked like the second to the bottom. And now he jumped everybody and everybody's kind of looking at him like he's kind of like the captain. But at the same time, it's it's a it's an, a competitive thing because it's only one. Remember, there's only one person that's going to get chosen. So it's like a competitive thing as well. So um, they're, they're not going to let they're not going to let him just jump them like that. So it's going to be a lot more competition within the group as well. Uh, but they know they have to work together to get rid of everybody else. So that's kind of what we're doing. That's kind of what we're dealing with right now. And can't wait for more, man. We're going to get into episode six. Let me stop talking. Let me let me shut the hell up. Uh, let's do this, man. Bang. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Oh no. Oh. 
俺たちの次の対戦相手はチーム W だ。Team V に負けていっぱいか。They have one loss against Team V. So just like us, they lose again, they're done. Damn, so we got two people or two groups. The Wanima brothers? Look like he k n o w them. Let's go! この双子が得意とするのはコンビネーションプレー。Their forte is their combination play. With the brothers. Are they moving? The give and goes are formidable. Bro, look at Meguru, man. See, look at, look at Meguru right there. See him over there sleeping over there on the left? I can't even figure out the directions. Him right here. See him sleeping? Like, I want to know if that is. Like, why does he do that? Like, is there a story behind that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd be curious about these things. Like, is there a story behind that? Because I would like to know. Because if he's just a character that's like, you threw him in there and he's just that too cool for school kind of character where he doesn't worry about nothing, then, like, all right, whatever. But if there's something to that, like, he's got, because you know he's got that monster inside of him. Like, if there's something to that where, like, he got to let the beast sleep or some shit like that, then that would be kind of cool. I wonder if there's something to it. So I would like I would like for this show to dive a little bit more into his character. Because I'm he he's interesting. He's interesting to me. And I feel like they do that on purpose. Like they make him purposely like an interesting character that you that you you wonder about a little bit. So keep an eye out on that. Just keep an eye out. Oh, <laughs> oh. why he grabbed him like that? Grabbed his whole face. Oh, is Coach sick? I love how they call him Coach. Did you see that? Did you catch that? They call him Coach. Which is pretty cool. I like that role for him. I like that role for him. You know, he'd be coming up with the tactics and, and, uh, and all the, uh, the homework. He does his homework, comes up with the tactics, comes up with the game plan. And that he's really valuable in that way. Uh, I don't really know what he's. You know, done on the field. Like, they don't really show too much of him on the field. So, uh, but it seems like his kind of, you know, special talent is, is this, like creating the game plan. But that it brings up an interesting thing, like later on down the road, like say he's not, you know, say he gets eliminated or something like that. Like, how does the team react? Like, where does the team turn to? Probably Isagi, but like, You know, he's he's made himself valuable in this way, and it's actually a big way. So, it's a key part of them,、uh, their game plan. So, yeah, keep an eye out on that, too. He looks like he's sick or something. He's not, he's not moving well. We'll call it Operation Southern All Stars. Let's go. Oh, no, they said it's lame. I thought it was a cool name. Why are they hating on the name? Right, I think it's great too. Right, is he staying goalie? What do you want us to do? You're bringing that up now? I'm grateful to you. What? Nah, t h e y doing him dirty, bro. <laughs> That's another thing to keep an eye on because, like, he can't stay goalie forever. He can't. Like, he's this at the end of the day. This is a striker boot camp. This is Blue Lock. We're here to find a striker for the national team. And how is he going to be able to show off by being a goalie? He can't even show anything off, really. Like, the only thing that can happen is negative if getting goals scored on him. Even if he's being a great goalie, like, it doesn't do anything for him in this camp. So, like, what are y'all doing for him? Y'all doing him dirty. Y'all doing him dirty. He got to stand up for himself. One of these days, he's going to stand up for himself. See, look at why is Meguru、yes. looking at him like that? <laughs> why, why he looking at him like that? He's an interesting character, man. t e l l me. He be analyzing Isagi, I feel like. He analyzes him. Let's go. It's starting. <laughs> What kind of pass do you want? Oh, he just looked at him. And he knows? Right, it's time to analyze this. For the first 30 minutes, I'm in defense. My task is clear. First of all, when he's trying to stop the combination play. Oh, look how they move in. Oh, nah. Hold on, look at this. 
Hold on, look at this. Look how they move him. And before he can even finish the sentence, look at this. Look how they move him. In. Yo, number six, why are you flat footed? Look at that. Y'all see number six right there on our team, the white haired guy? Bro, you can't be. See, I know a little, I know a little sports. I know a little, I play a little sports. You can't be caught flat footed like that. No matter what the sport is, you got to be moving the feet. The feet's got to be moving. You cannot be flat footed. I got to get caught lacking. Can't be doing that, my man. Our weapon is our eye contact. That's, yeah. That makes sense. Got them crazy eyes. Ah. See, they do know him. The genius made of glass. <laughs> Why are they looking crazy like that? Oh, right past you? Oh, they are creepy. Oh, man. His injury must have been bad, bad. There you go, Isagi. There you go. Why? Stop all that talking. All that talking. Oh, man. We can't wait till they, they get into that Shigiri. When they get into his uh his story, cause that leg, look like they said it shattered on him. That's a horrific injury. That's a horrific injury. Shattered, Lord. That's why he out here scared. He's out here scared playing soccer. Why is he here? That's probably a gruesome injury too. Sheesh. That's a foul. That's a foul. <laughs> Right, unlike you, I don't have any past achievements I can be proud of. That's, man, talk to him, Isagi. I'm here because Blue Lock is about to change my talk. Talk to him, Isagi. We are here from the from the bottom, from the bottom. We didn't have a past like you. From ground zero out here, trying to make a name. That's why we here. What are you doing here, redhead? I'm sorry to all my redheads out there. I didn't mean that. But he got red hair. He got red hair. Shigiri, what you doing out here? But I know that we are strikers. One shot on goals behind us. Oh! Is that coach? I coach? I see. I see you, coach. Nah, give me that. Give me that. Kuon again? Ah, jumping is his weapon. Oh! Jumping is his weapon, isn't it? I forgot about that. Oh, you taking a shot? Alright. Wait, hold on, coach. Coach showing out. Coach out here showing out. Alright. Man, I'm shit. I owe you an apology. I owe you an apology. My man done got a header and a long shot. What's that, Shaq mean? I owe you an apology. I wasn't familiar with your game. <laughs> I wasn't familiar with your game. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. That's crazy. I was just talking a little sh shit about him too earlier. It was like. Because he hasn't really done anything. So we, don't, we don't really know what he can do. What's he like on the field. We just knew he had the game plans and the tactics. But he, he's out here getting header. Getting long shots. Showing out this game. All right, have a, have a game coach. Have a game. I'm sorry I was not familiar with your talents. I was not familiar with your game. I'm so sorry. See I think I'm on fire today. I think you are too big fella. Fluky shot. Was it a fluky shot? What y'all think? Was it a fluky shot? Bachira. They call him Bachira. I call him Meguru. Meguru or Meguru. Oh. Look at him jumping. Bro, you got three goals? You got the hat trick? Oh, he's a striker striker. Right, I didn't notice him till today too. He didn't say nothing though. <laughs> Dang, he going crazy. I, my dude got three goals. What the hell? 
I was literally talking shit in the beginning of this episode. In the beginning, I was literally saying like, "What this? What can he do on the on the field? Like, what's he good for? Like, his value is like the leadership part. But like, bro, really going crazy right now. You going crazy, yo? So it's halftime, right? Y'all know how this be. This is Blue Lock, the anime, and it's all about the intensity. So I have to imagine. Now, the other team is going to make some plays. Like, they're going to make some plays. Like, I, I I imagine this game is going to get close somehow. I don't think they're just about to blow them out of the water. What do y'all think? I don't know if they're about to just blow them out. But you know, that's, that's how it happens in sports, though. Another team gets momentum after halftime or something like that. You know, it happens in basketball all the time. Like, a team is down by a lot. They start getting momentum. And once they do start getting momentum, they become, like, the most dangerous team in the world because – just that belief in coming back is like a, that's a real thing in sports. That belief in coming back is dangerous to the opposition. So let's see how this goes because I'm sure there's going to be some kind of comeback. How will Team Z handle it? How will they respond? When you're in a place as intense as this, can you still say you're planning to give up on soccer? Right, right. You came to you came to Blue Lock, bro. This whole thing is intense. How can you say you're giving up on soccer? That is inaccurate. Bro, watch out. Oh, nah. It dropped back to midfield. Oh. Shigri, come on. Oh, the leg. Damn, so this is what I'm saying with him being with him being a goalie. Like the only thing that can happen for him is bad. Like it's negative for him. There's no positive for him in this camp. Even if he saves a ton of goals, like he can play, he can be the best goalie out there. And you're not doing the striker thing though. <laughs> so how are they about to give him points? Like how are they gonna rank him? That's kind of unfair. They do him. They doing the bro dirty. They doing him dirty a little bit. It would only be right if the goalie like was also recruited to join the national team too. That would be kind of dope if they were like, "You've been so good, like we can recruit you too." But he did just get scored on. So, damn, one three just like that, just like that. That was quick too. We're still in the lead. What? He not expecting it? And he under hit it? Bro. Nah. Bro. It's 3 2. Why he under hit it like that? <laughs> Bakugo going crazy. Look at Bakugo right now. <laughs> he going crazy. Damn. Bro, why he under why he, he under hit it like that? What you doing, bro? So this must have been why Commissioner Ego wasn't talking like that. He wasn't he wasn't hype about it. He may know something about this guy. Like, yeah, he can do some things, but he can also screw up a lot or something. Like, what is going on? Damn, he was having such a good game. He let up two goals just like that. Yeah, what are you doing, bro? We're still leading. Let's come up with a plan. Stay level-headed. I told you this would get close. You knew it was. We have got to stop the next, or else. He just smiled. Y'all saw that? What was that? What was? What? What is that? What is this? And then the music too? <gasps> what is that? Yo, you know when the eyes go crazy like that, that means some he, he's twisted, dude. He's twisted. Yo, what does that mean? What do y'all think that means? Is he twisted to the point where like he needs it to be close for something? Nah, what's going on there? Did he just smile? Maybe I imagined it. Maybe I imagined it too, but I don't think so, man. That dude really just smiled, though. 
And it was like one of those twisted smiles. So he's a twisted character. I did not see that. I didn't see that coming. I thought he was just straight, straight dude. What was, what does that mean? Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, does he just need, does he need it to be close so he can like, is that when it, is that when he's at his best or something like that? Like, I don't know. I don't have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, that's the squad right here. He's blocked. Get open, dude. He can't smell a goal. <gasps> Damn, he can't smell a goal. Something's wrong here. They know our plan somehow. No way. No way that can be true. All the goals in this game have been scored by him. What does that mean? No. He missed it on purpose? Nah, 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 nah. Stop this. Come on, goalie. God. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Is Isagi right? No way. He's starting to put it together. He's definitely starting to put it together. Right, let's let's address this. Let's address this. Are you betraying us? <gasps> no, it got dark. Oh no! Oh no! They figured it out? That's where he was during the team meeting. No way. Come on, say something. Oh, he's cold. He's cold. I'm just doing my best to survive in Blue Log. What does that mean? How does that help you, though? <laughs> yellow cards. We're giving out yellow cards here. This is Blue Log. Come on now. We don't do these. Ah, oh, what? What's going on? Right, if we lose, we're done. What's the point of losing on purpose? What's his play here? Oh, he said, you're the dumb ones. Here we go. Only you guys will be going home if we lose. I will survive here alone. What you talking about? And he just passed it to the other team. From here on out, we're playing 12 on 10. What? She shook. Why are you gonna allow this, dude? Just shut up and watch. Now, what will you? Ooh, ooh, what will you do, Team Z? So Eagle's kind of twisted himself, so that's why he's allowing this to happen. But his, he's shifted his focus to like, how is Team Z going to respond? That's that's what he's looking at it. Like, how is Team Z about to respond to this betrayal? And who's gonna step up and shine? Because he'll that'll score some points, I'm guessing. Uh, unless the but doesn't the whole team go home? How they? That's not really giving them a fair chance to respond at this time of the game, man. Things on the line, but you gotta do what you, you gotta do what you gotta do. We'll see if it, we'll see if they respond somehow. But yo, see, but ego could be looking at this in two different ways. He could be looking at coach two different ways. He could look at it as like good for you that you are doing whatever you, it takes to move up and become the striker and. You know, the striker can, you know, does whatever it takes to win, right? Which is what he he's technically doing. But he could also look at it as like, you're also ducking competition, and that's not a good thing from our striker. So if you're if you're gonna be Japan's leading striker, you can't be out here ducking competition in the way you just did right here. That could be a sign of weakness. Which is how I'm hoping he would see it. So I, that's how I would see it. It's like, dude, you're just ducking competition here, man. When your last minute goal won the last game for us, it got me thinking. If we're always going to be walking a tightrope like that, but the chances of this team surviving in this tournament is slim. According to the chart, the, our final opponent is Team B, the only team with two wins in our group. Hmm. They beat the team, the team we just beat 8-0, and we just struggled against them. There's no way we're beating them. So I decided to give up on the winning as a team and focus on moving up alone. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's going past all the, like, he's taking the easy route. 
he that's not very competitive from him. Like that's lacking competitiveness in my opinion. We'll see how Ego feels about it because he's going to be the one that decides it. When the first selection started, Ego mentioned a special rule. Even if your team isn't one of the top two teams, if you are your team's top scorer, you get to proceed in the next select. Ah. Look at him. So I made the deal. I promised to give Team W the info. If they give me the three points, that's why he was getting those goals. Oh, uh, you conniving little biatch. You conniving little biatch. Look at him literally playing for the other team. You son of a guy. You Damn, coach. We was just talking good about you. That's crazy. You see how this show went? You see how this episode just went for me? I literally in the beginning was like, yo, I was little, talking a little shit about him because I was like, he's great at the tactics, great at the game planning, but he hasn't really like done anything on the field. And then middle of this episode before halftime, he scores three goals, two headers and a long shot. And I'm like, oh, snap. Like, I wasn't familiar with your game. Let me apologize. And then he does this. You figure out that this is what's really going on. Damn. See, now I'm gonna have to retract my my apology. I can't I can't have that go on. Like I need to take my apology back because you 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 conniving right now. You conniving. You backstabbing right now. I can't let that be. I can't I can't have you have that apology. I I need it back. I'm taking that back. Damn. I did not see this coming, man. I did not see that coming. Wow. He over here playing for the, literally playing for the other team right now. Passing to the other team, dribbling with the other team. Mm. This is Blue Lock. If you need to betray your people, then do it. Damn. 4 3. Wow. And he's waving at them. Wow. All right, we're not gonna let it end like this. Even Shigeru is shook. Damn, that's the episode. No, no. Damn, these episodes go by so quick, man. They go by so quick. Yo, what an episode. I did not see that coming. I thought we was straight up beating a booty. Turns out. Wow, coach. I can't believe he did that. I was starting to like him too. <laughs> I, I was starting to like him. I was I like this character like that. He stepped he stepped up in that leadership role, coming up with the game plans and stuff. Like he shows his smarts. And then he starts getting some goals and you're like, yo, go off in. And he got the special jumping ability. I totally forgot about that. But they was allowing it to happen because he had made a deal. Where's your competitive spirit? He thinks just because we're in this group that's barely winning some of these matches, he's so scared of this other team that's apparently spanking teams too, that he's gonna make this kind of move? To me, if I'm ego, I'm like, yo, you're not the striker we need because that's not the competitive spirit that we need right now. He just mentioned talking about like having a having an ego to to do something like what he just did. I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be an interesting decision that uh, the commissioner ego makes. Like, does he appreciate that he just did that? Or is he going to look down on that as like not a, not being a competitor? What do you guys think? What y'all think about that? That's interesting. And they got the whole, like the secondary, secondary story going with Shigri knowing the two brothers and his shattered leg like wow and he's shook right now like the whole team is shook and he's extra shook and that's bad and we all thinking or we're all looking at Isagi like to somehow use his spatial awareness to win this game because the game's not over yet I don't think the game's not over even though he was waving I don't think the game is over so we're, we're gonna find out the next episode damn that was episode 5 of 6 episode 6 I'm tripping I'm sorry. I'm shook too. See, I'm, sh I'm shook too. That's episode six of Blue Lock. Damn, I don't know how they're going to respond. I don't know what's about to happen. 
can we pull out a goal or two at least tie it see what happens from there but like damn coach damn it was just it was just starting to like you you could not you conniving little damn you looking out for himself though i guess and that's what the goalie need to start doing for real because i'm like yo you can't just be goalie the whole time <laughs> they killing you with that mm -mm. wouldn't let that happen to me though nah anyways that's blue lock episode six episode seven next week can't wait to see how this ends so next week episode seven monday we have bleach thousand year blood war tuesday chainsaw man we'll be reacting to that and like i said in the beginning of this video let me know if there's something else that you would like for me to react to i can definitely try to add it to the list uh it may not be as in, in i don't know about in depth and not like i'm doing in-depth analysis or anything like that but it may not be as long as these videos it may just do some like light reactions but um yeah just let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought about this episode and the moves that were just made right here from coach who we thought was the good guy we thought he was on our side turns out he's twisted let me know your thoughts what's about to happen next and uh yeah one more thing if you could do for me is super smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well to hang out with us some more doing more anime reactions last thing before you go i would like to mention the giveaway again because uh we are doing the giveaway if you didn't watch wakanda forever go watch that movie but we are giving away the black panther his very first appearance in the mcu from captain america civil war giving away this bad boy right here um so definitely go and participate in the giveaways you can find the post on our ig it's pinned to our profile um that's how you enter for a chance to win on ig and through twitter go to our our profile and it's pinned it's the pinned tweet there so uh you can participate on twitter and on ig once each so you, you better your chances if you do it on both on both platforms but yeah enter for a chance to win win that bad boy right there and good luck to you i hope you guys have a wonderful 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 day i appreciate you guys for for watching i really do thank you guys very very much and i will see you guys in the next video